Next question is from Cameron Dart. When cutting or bulking, should your style of training change? This is a great question. I actually get asked this all the time. It depends on if your goal is short-term or if your goal is long-term. Long-term, regardless if you're cutting or bulking, your training, if we're talking about resistance training, should be focused on building muscle because building muscle obviously benefits bulking, but it also benefits cutting. One of the challenges with cutting is preserving muscle and maintaining metabolism that still remains fast. That's one of the hardest challenges, right? Is how do I lose body fat without losing this hard-earned muscle? Because if you lose 10 pounds, half of it's fat, half of it's muscle, you're just a smaller, skinnier version of your old self. Same fat, body fat percentage and everything. You've actually gone nowhere. You've just lost muscle. So whether you're building or cutting, long-term, the goal should always be to build uh, muscle. Now, if it's a short-term goal, if I say I got six weeks to get lean and I'm going to cut, what I'm going to do with my workout is I'm going to, because this is a short-term approach, this is not a long-term approach, but what I'm going to do with my workout is I'm going to change my workout to burn a lot of calories. So now I'm going to do supersets. I might do a couple giant sets or a circuit here or there, throw in some hit style training, because in the short term, it burns more calories. I'll burn more body fat. Still doing resistance training to preserve muscle. But that's my short-term approach. Now, why is it not long-term? Because uh, if I do that long-term, then I still get those negative effects that I'll, I'll get from cutting, which is I'll end up losing well, muscle. Well, I think so. Because what, what would you do if you were already training like that and, and then you go into a bulk? Let's say, for example, you're following um, you know, MAPS Aesthetic and you're in phase three, which has got supersets and, and what you're talking about. And then you and you were bulking, right? You were, let's say you're bulking all the way through MAPS Aesthetic. And then you've decided you're about to trans after maps aesthetic, you're going to transition into this cut and you just came out of all these supersets. Right. To me, whatever I, I and, and I, I, there's no like wrong answer. I here, see right? the direction you're going. Right. There's yeah. no, there, and by the, there is, there's no wrong answer to this. Like some people love being in a calorie surplus when they're training one to five reps. And some people love to be in a cut there because you preserve so much muscle. Mm -hmm. I, I think there's benefits to going both ways. Personally, Whenever I adjust my food like drastically, we're deciding I'm going from a bulk to a cut, I also like to switch up how I'm training, whether that be the modality of it, like going from like a very ana basic MAPS anabolic to like a MAPS strong type of a program, or really manipulating the rep ranges like you just alluded to. I just find that it takes a lot of different stimulus, both nutritionally and uh, um, training wise, to really see my body make big changes. So I love to kind of play with all of that but there's nothing to say i mean you could follow let's just say a, you know one of the maps programs because we do all the phasing and, and undulating in there for you you just say you follow that along and you could be going into a, a cut bulk cut bulk and at different phases and it doesn't matter you know that's a good yeah it's basically train in a way that's going to be appropriate for your body to build muscle which can be supersets if mm -hmm. that's not what you're doing right it could also be heavy weight in you know low reps if that's not what you're doing right now speaking to what you're saying adam personally I like to cut and I, I like to go heavy and have longer rest periods when I cut because I don't have as much energy. Right. Supersets and shit like that. Factor, yeah, yeah. Like I, I like to be fed when I'm going to go and do a bunch of supers. Yeah. And I know that's counter to what a lot of well, people think. I agree to. with you on that. Uh, but at the same time, like it's, it's also an ego thing because you know, you're low calorie and now you're trying to do these same lists that yeah. you would normally have like a lot more strength when you're well fed. So you just have to like work through that psychologically. Uh, but I do prefer to try and like uh, do like, uh, you know, lower reps and, and go in that direction. That's why there's no wrong answer yeah. here. Uh, I mean, uh, so honestly, long as it's appropriate resistance because maps aesthetic really was designed to to kind of uh, mimic how i got ready for a show and technically the last phase of maps aesthetic i'm cutting that's the last four weeks mm -hmm. going and that's where all the super set and crazy stuff is so mm -hmm. and, and the the cons the idea for me is as i'm getting you know those last four to six weeks as i'm getting ready for a show uh, not only am I restricting calories, but I'm also moving more in my workout to create an even larger deficit to really see right. a dramatic change. So, but your point is valid too. Like, you know, I totally agree with you. Like, it's nice uh, when you are fed to be doing a lot of supersetting and moving it around. Get and the it, pump. Yeah. And so they, they, the the answer for I think for everybody is to to play with this. Is that this is what's so neat? Is that you know everybody listening right now? There's going to be a, a group of people that 
go, oh, man, I, I need to be fed when I go in one to five rep range. I just feel amazing and I see great response. Then great, then do that. You know what I'm saying? That you can do either one. I, I think getting hung up on this, because we do, I get this a lot in my DMs. This is actually mm-hmm. one of my, hey, I, I'll get a, a exact DM. They want like the perfect formula. Like, right. Give it to me. I'll get a DM that says, you know, hey, Adam, I'm in phase two of MAPS performance. Yeah, should I cut or bulk? Yeah, should I cut or bulk? Or I'm about to transition into a bulk. Uh, what phase should I be in? It's like, uh, you know, that doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? You should you should be going in and out of cutting cutting and bulking. We we I think we always talk about at least every four to six weeks, you shouldn't be staying in one of them too, too much longer than that anyways. So it's not always going to line up perfect for a phase in the workout. Mm. And I think it's a good thing for everyone to try both ways, cutting in a, in a, in a, uh, a program that's strength-based one time and then cutting one time in a, a hypertrophy or superset type of phase.